That are uniquely Japanese. Mm-hmm. I'm John. My name is Yusuke. So today, yes, uh, we're gonna talk about something that is obviously so Japanese. Mm-hmm. Uh, omiyage. Omiyage. Omiyage culture. Yeah. So pretty much, omiyage means souvenir. Souvenir. The souvenirs. <clears throat> omiyage. Um, I've always wondered, Yusuke. Mm-hmm. Um, I notice Japanese words. Mm-hmm. Like you can say, sake, mm-hmm. bento, mm-hmm. cha, but mm-hmm. then sometimes you, I hear it as o sake, mm-hmm. o bento, mm-hmm. o cha, o cha, o kome, what's o kane, yeah, o kane, mm-hmm. money, mm-hmm. kane, o mm-hmm. kane. What's the o means? Mean? Yeah, yeah. O means basically when you use o in front of the words, uh, it become more like bright. So like, the the actual word has like tea, cha, uh, omiyage, miyage, Mi- okay. but because of when you say that word basically to others, so okay. to make it more polite way, then then you use you put the o in front of the word. So, so it became like sounds more polite. Okay. Yeah. Um, so amongst friends, would you just say? Oh, drink some sake. Yeah, exactly. But if I'm giving it to, to like your boss, my boss, an and elder. Then, yeah, and then you say like, "Osake irimasu ka?" Like okay. Being polite, right? You're not gonna say "sake irimasu ka" because okay. it's already impolite. That's impolite. Exactly. Oh, uh, miyage irimasu ka? It's very impolite. But like omiyage des, it's very polite. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna say. Uh, here's miyage for you. No, you always say like omiyage mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. So, more and more as we do more episodes, mm-hmm. we're learning how there's different versions of Japanese, I suppose. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's the formal and informal. Informal. I don't know if in English if it's similar. It's where... like may I or yeah yeah I would like to or yeah, yeah. trying to be polite, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so I think, but obviously Japanese is, I would say more complicated in a way. Cause like only they take small it, detail, it changes completely yes. what you saying to others. Yeah. They definitely, uh, the Japanese language takes the polite version like, mm-hmm. to the extreme. Exactly. Yeah. So I think our listeners, if somebody who study Japanese, mm-hmm. you guys always get more confused to use those words, right? Like why I can't say just sake, why I can't say sh- just miyage. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because as a Japanese, it sounds so impolite if mm-hmm. you don't put the word. Yeah. And probably most textbooks or language learning apps and stuff mm-hmm. will teach you the polite version of it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So that's why if uh, you guys stick around to the end of the podcast, mm-hmm. um, again, we're going to have our new, do our new segment, segment yep. street level Japanese. Mm. And uh, also we're going to do Kore ka sore, this or that mm-hmm. at the uh, end of the episode as well. So mm-hmm. if you stick around, you yep. can listen to two new segments. Yeah. So hopefully you guys can learn something more than, than the what just, we just talk just listening to us talk yeah exactly all right so oh. souvenirs um in western culture mm-hmm. souvenirs if i'm going to the dominican or if i'm mm-hmm. going trip. to europe or wherever take mm-hmm. a trip come back i'm probably gonna bring like a keychain that says mexico on it okay. or um magnets mm-hmm. right t-shirts mm-hmm. that say mm-hmm I love New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or little trinkets and knickknacks that you can mm-hmm. put on your shelf or whatever. Mm-hmm. But in Japan, souvenirs are not really those things. I mean, there's those things, but more snacks, I mean, food. Yeah. And like small sweets, something like that. Right. Yeah. Generally, always food and snacks. Yeah. Um, so 
why are we doing a podcast about omiyage, souvenirs? But you will learn in being there or living there. And I'm sure if someone has、um, visited Japan and brought something back to you,、mm-hmm. um, it's, it's important in Japanese culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, why is it important? It's because、um, Japanese culture. You have to fall in line and、mm-hmm. um, you want to maintain the status quo.、Mm-hmm. Um, so they believe that bringing souvenirs, bringing omiyage back, maintains the pleasant and harmonious relationships、mm-hmm. yep. that you yep. make, yep. that you have. So generally, you will always bring back omiyage for co workers. Co workers, mostly co workers. Yeah, mostly. And then neighbors, neighbors friends, friends, family.、Yep. Families. But why is it so important to bring omiyage back for your co workers? I think it's mostly like appreciation to、okay. I got time off during you guys are working and cover my job. Okay, okay. So, being like, same thing, being polite, right? Being polite. Yeah, so like, thank you so much. I got a good time at, I don't know, Hawaii or、uh-huh. even Hokkaido、mm-hmm. or anywhere. Then this is for you. Yeah, thank you for covering、mm-hmm. for me. Thank you for doing my work. Thank、mm-hmm. you for allowing me to、mm-hmm. take time off.、Mm-hmm. Right? Because if you don't buy it, then you just、uh, came back at work.、Mm-hmm. Then they're going to ask you, like, how was it?、Yeah. But then, they, oh, it was good. And, that's, and they're going to feel like, that's it? So、Only、it's a very、one? big, like, social faux pas. Like, you will look really bad if you don't bring、sure. anything back, right? Which I do a lot. <laughs> I'm so bad as Again, a Japanese person. Yeah, yeah. Ryusuke is not the most Japanese, <laughs> Japanese person.、Yeah. Uh, but that's why I guess he lives here.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's to show appreciation、mm-hmm. for your coworkers and whatever.、Mm-hmm. And also, it's very important to, for example, if you're traveling for work or you have a meeting in a different city in Japan.、Mm. If I'm from Tokyo、mm. and I visit、um, Nagoya for、mm. a business meeting,、mm. I should bring something from Tokyo, a snack or a food item to, to the your、meeting. company. And、yeah. then, like, yeah. So, yeah, it, I think with that, it's not just thank you, right? Because you already travel somewhere. That means,、mm. like, people are expecting, like, they're going to get something because、yeah. you went somewhere else. Yeah. And then, at a time, With the different culture.、Mm-hmm. So they want to have some snack or whatever from the special food. y e a h Makes them like, oh, cool. So it's gotten to the point where it's expected. Like, omiyage culture、mm-hmm. is so ingrained in Japanese culture、mm-hmm. that it's expected that、yeah. you don't come empty handed, right? Yeah. It's just being polite. You yeah. Know? Same like, thing over here. I come over to your house for dinner. You invite me over for a dinner party. Then、I'll、you bring, bring some, some wine. Or yeah, bring exactly. Some, yeah. Because,、yeah. like, for example, my parents, they own a small coffee shop.、Mm-hmm. Um, uh, very unusual, but sometimes they get a time off and then we go somewhere as a family trip.、Mm-hmm. And I always remember when, as a kid, like, I would say, like, a couple hours, they pick a bunch of different omiyage and then. My parents just talking, this is for this customer, this is for this、oh, customer, because、wow. we get a lot of regular customers. Yeah. So, like, they basically spend time and money to、yeah. give to、uh, their restaurant customer,、mm-hmm. bring back omiyage. So, yeah, it goes back to maintaining the pleasant and harmonious relationships.、Mm-hmm. It's very important,、mm-hmm. right? And I guess also kind of like share. The experience mm-hmm, mm-hmm. from. Yeah, it's all positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all yeah. good. Yeah.、Um, one thing I noticed、um, in Japan and living here, and I'm sure our listeners, you could probably tell if something is from Japan, a certain snack or food、mm-hmm. item is from Japan,、mm-hmm. and it's from like the packaging. Yeah. Japanese packaging is one of the best packagings in the world.、Mm-hmm. Like, Maybe it's、tell. too much. I. Yeah, I think a little bit too much just because you'll have like a paper wrapper、mm-hmm. and then you'll have a plastic wrapping over、mm-hmm. the box. 
and then you open the box and mm-hmm. then there might be like tissue paper mm-hmm. and then you open the tissue paper and then every cookie or every Individual piece of chocolate pocket. is yep. individually wrapped in yep. plastic yep. right so someone like my wife who is very environmentally conscious mm-hmm. she would be like oh this is wasteful mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but why is it in japan that packaging is so important or i guess because that's why it's omiyage culture right because you bought uh one box of like uh cookies mm-hmm. and if there's no packaging how are you gonna give to everybody okay. but because of small packaging you buy uh, you bought one box yeah. then in, i would say like 10 individual packaging cookies there so, so you like get one exactly you one. you basically get for 10 people okay so that's why i noticed like um as you guys for sure have seen um japanese kit kats has mm. ex- really exploded right yeah. you started off with the green tea flavor mm-hmm. and then now there's sake flavor all sorts of flavors yeah, yeah. Uh, flavors that are regional to different parts of mm-hmm. japan but if you look at the kit kats you open the bag and every what the two pieces are stuck together mm-hmm. are all individually packaged yeah yeah but if you turn the package around you'll see like um a white space for mm-hmm. you to write message or, or name or, or yeah <laughs> right so i guess that adds on to the packaging right yeah like, yeah yeah i'm buying a bag but i'm mm-hmm. not necessarily giving the whole bag to you no i'm giving one piece one piece or right. like you bought a uh, couple different variety of snacks mm-hmm. then in, you can combine one packet each mm-hmm. and then give it to people right so mm-hmm. like people can get a variety of snacks mm-hmm. instead of one mm-hmm. yeah um so is it wasteful maybe but it maybe. looks nice looks right? nice and like, then also that's also like a culture wise mm-hmm. right like people assume when you bought big box of uh snacks then then they can share it exactly but no like mm-hmm. touching with uh hand and yeah, that's true it's cleaner yeah. because also japanese More culture hygienic, right yeah. it's very clean very clean very um you guys pay attention to aesthetics right like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's one thing that i really appreciate about japanese culture is that as everything is aesthetically pleasing it's looks good for the on the eyes right yeah yeah like your food just everything the yeah, furniture yeah. Just everything right yeah yeah um and yeah very clean mm-hmm. very clean mm-hmm. um so i noticed that like so hokkaido is famous for hokkaido milk things yeah uh there's a call shiroi koibito okay which is uh two it's like a uh biscuit sandwich okay with like white chocolate yes in yes. the middle yes it's very popular it's the um, uh lang de chat yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cat tongue cookies mm-hmm. that's really famous mm-hmm. um why does tokyo have tokyo banana tokyo banana i have no idea right? bananas are not grown in japan <laughs> no um it's so maybe that's though. a bad example what other regional specialties like nagoya for example your hometown uh anything with uh red bean paste okay like red bean paste uh biscuit sandwich is one of the Mm -hmm. popular thing Mm -hmm. in in nagoya Mm -hmm. and what is other stuff uh uh like a shrimp cracker okay because nagoya is famous for shrimp okay so and then they have a bunch of like expensive shrimp Mm -hmm. cracker it's called yukari yeah. In, when living there i did notice that how um how aware japanese people are of the specialties of different places mm-hmm. you tell them nagoya they know oh yeah shrimp crackers mm-hmm. fukuoka they know something <laughs> i don't we should have <laughs> did some research yeah well it's... <laughs> but they know um they're really aware of the specialties mm-hmm. of every mm-hmm. place speaking of like canada like for example maybe again maple bad. cookie maple cookies but that's all of canada i can't tell you uh, the specialty of manitoba no right i can't tell you the specialty of toronto uh, toronto right? or vancouver or and when i was there i was thinking why mm, but mm. i think because um japan 
there's a they really promote inter country traveling, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? They, um, yeah, you mm-hmm. you travel doesn't necessarily mean you're leaving Japan, but yeah. you're going to a different prefecture, a different mm-hmm. city in Japan, mm-hmm. and uh, it just goes back to I think um, the appreciation. That Japanese people have for everything, mm-hmm. they appreciate the small things. They appreciate mm-hmm. uh, different places make things mm-hmm. better mm-hmm. than others. Mm-hmm. Would you say that's true? Yeah, yeah, right. I think so. Yeah. And what about like as a non-Japanese, and you say you still buy a souvenir when yeah. you go trip? I'm not sure. It's because But, of. Um, uh, I omiyagi culture kind of got to me, mm. but it's not only it's a polite and nice gesture, right? Mm. I think after living in Japan, I am more aware that I should bring something back to my coworkers. So before you didn't think that so much. Mostly would be like just your friends and family. I see, I right? see. But not because, to the coworker. No, mm-hmm. um, but I think it's very important too. I agree, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, um, so. I love snacks. Anyway. I love Japanese snacks. Mm-hmm. Everybody, right? So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, Japanese snacks are one of the best snacks in the world, mm-hmm. and it's good, right? You get it's snacks, good. and yeah, I like to eat. And um, but even if you weren't going to Japan or coming back from Japan anywhere, mm-hmm. it's a good gesture to bring food. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's snack, so it's, it's like the expiry. Day is like that's long true. and that's true. You, can, you don't need to keep in the fridge or customs you know. will allow you to bring it in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. So how about you like um, Omiyage culture um, living here? Mm. Do you kind of pay attention to Omiyage mm. culture? Do you? You mean like a, as a Japanese and then bring back to. Yeah. So you're foreign. You know, well. Your uh, non-Japanese friends uh-huh. in Canada, uh-huh. do you bring things back for them? Uh, I don't. But if you have Japanese friends, Japanese, yeah, maybe. You may be more obligated, right? Mm-hmm. But like, like because if I go to Japan, yeah, maybe. But uh, the last time I my trip was LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to LA, but then, like you say, like. What should I buy from LA? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. What people gonna be happy? Yeah. I got something from LA. Like all I could think it would be like magnets or a keychain that right? says Los right? Angeles on it. Or... Yeah, but then then I start thinking like, do they really need this? Same. You yeah. know? Yeah. Then like I don't want to waste my money. Yeah. I don't want they. Pretending like oh thank you, but then yeah. like it's garbage. I don't need this. <laughs> yeah, if you want to have to put it in my house, yeah, yeah, I already have a keychain. Exactly. Right? Or if you obsess about LA, mm-hmm. then then maybe I will bring、uh, something back to you. But yeah, again, like I I don't really know. Like、uh, there's no LA specialty chocolate. There's no LA specialty cookies, right? And the food is the food is like. Because you consume it, you taste it,、mm-hmm. you have another sense.、Mm-hmm. It's another sensory experience,、mm-hmm. right?、Mm-hmm. Oh, I get to taste this. Oh, this tastes. Yeah. I never tasted this before. Yeah.、Oh, this is from this, right? Yeah. Like if you give me a "I Love New York" T-shirt. Oh, great! Pajamas. Exactly. <laughs> like at a home street. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear this on the street. Right. So、yeah. I'll have to fake appreciation,、mm-hmm. and then you wasted、mm-hmm. your money mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and, and then a couple years later, I'm gonna donate it. <laughs> yeah, and I think speaking of uh, like uh, LA or whenever America, I trip from Canada because、mm-hmm. like the culture is similar. Yes. yes. So what's the point? I gonna、yeah. bring back something, but、yeah. because Japan is island,、mm-hmm. so anywhere you go outside of Japan. I guess like people always happy to get something. Yeah, it's more insulated, right? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So and I, because I, Japan is an island,、um, and it's because it's so insulated, that's why every different part of Japan has their own specialty too,、mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. 
that makes sense yeah and so where so, <clears throat> yeah where should we buy like where, where to go well that's the thing right and you said when you go other places you, you might not be bombarded mm -hmm. to see like local specialties mm -hmm. like maybe at a tourist gift shop or whatever mm -hmm. but in japan they're everywhere like they're every everywhere. shopping street mm -hmm. you can see oh this item is special from here mm -hmm. this, this item is special from mm -hmm. from wherever and airports mm -hmm. uh, apart from duty-free shops mm -hmm. you'll see stores and stands that sell local oh, specialties the snacks everywhere. and yep. everything you'll know because it's beautifully packaged mm -hmm. but as a foreigner visiting japan mm -hmm. and you want to bring some special japanese things back mm -hmm. omiyage back to your friends mm -hmm. um, where should you go mm -hmm. buy them mm -hmm. and uh, we have a couple of uh, recommendations for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one is uh, a shop called don quixote don quixote don quixote it's um the same name as the book by Cervantes, mm -hmm. uh, Don Quixote. But in Don Quixote in Japan, the mascot is like a little penguin. Yeah, a little penguin. So like, literally nothing meaning of name. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the name. No. Actually, we've probably done some research why Don Quixote is called Don Quixote. Maybe. Right? Maybe yeah. it's out there. Yeah. Uh, hey, Google it and let us know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Don Quixote. Um, I remember the first time my Japanese friend taking me there and it blew me away it's it's i don't know how to describe it but it's a store that sells everything everything yeah everything and anything everything looks very interesting yes it's, yes and very colorful very colorful and it's not like um very sparse like the stores are packed with mm -hmm. items mm -hmm. right but you can buy anything maybe not fresh food and vegetables no fresh items but oh, well have... i mean a little bit but mostly like drinks yeah you can buy your you can do your food shopping there mm -hmm. there's food there's even food. alcohols yeah alcohol yeah. um clothing mm -hmm. luggage mm -hmm. uh yeah last two years ago when we went to japan um we bought too much shit mm -hmm. and we needed to buy an extra luggage yeah we went and to don quixote nice right? mm -hmm. um clothing yeah yeah they have sex toys mm -hmm. all these interesting sex yeah, toys yeah beauty products mm -hmm. i know a lot of um people from uh, other asian countries because mm -hmm. japan beauty products are really famous in mm -hmm. the world they'll go to don quixote and mm -hmm. pack their bags mm -hmm. with um beauty products mm -hmm. snacks so anyway don quixote that's don a quixote. very very good place to yep. buy omiyage yep. or i would even say if you go visit japan uh, block off a few hours of your schedule mm -hmm. to go visit a Don Quixote. Yeah, because you need a time. Yeah, you need a time to see everything. Yeah. And through going there, you can learn about Japanese cultures by looking at the products mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. available, right? Mm -hmm. um, maybe, and every city has a Don Quixote. Now every, every town, city. Right? Yeah. Before, no, but yeah. I remember when the uh, first Don Quixote... Uh, came to Nagoya, oh. everybody was so excited. That, that means uh, Nagoya hit the big time, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like when um, sometimes when uh, you ask someone, oh, where are you from? Mm. And if it's like a small town, mm. um, well, so um, I lived in England and mm. um, when in England, I was living in Plymouth. Mm -hmm. super small town in the southwest mm -hmm. of england and uh they said oh no we're big we have a starbucks now <laughs> right yeah, right right so if a so, starbucks has opened into your town then you're not we're small anymore yeah, yeah you're big yeah, enough yeah, yeah, to yeah. have a starbucks yeah so if you, nagoya keep, became big enough to have don quixote. don quixote yeah but even small towns maybe the don quixotes are smaller but um in the big cities like the ones in tokyo they're like 12 stories mm -hmm. maybe not 12 but Many, yeah, many, yeah, many no, floors, like right? twelve story. And I think in Osaka, Don Quixote, they have uh, how to say the um, carousel. No. Uh, oh, not carousel. Um, Ferris wheel. Yes. Yeah, they have a Ferris yeah, wheel. Uh, yeah. Don Tambori, right? Yeah, Very famous. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's one in Osaka that has like an aquarium. Too with the Don Quixote. Yeah, like oh. in the Don Quixote, there's like a fish uh. aquarium too. But anyway it's like almost like a amusement park in a way yeah 
well, s- what I mean, smaller version, and then the colorful, colorful, yeah. and you just you can spend hours there. So yeah, yeah. highly highly recommend you visit there, Japan. Mm-hmm. Spend some time at Don Quixote. Mm-hmm. Also, before you leave on your last couple of days, mm-hmm. go there, stock up yeah, on Moscow, omiyage snacks. Like, you get big uh, bag of snacks, like hundred pieces inside. Mm-hmm. So if you buy one, and then your omiyage is ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all sorts. Yeah, yeah, our luggage was filled with Don Quixote things. Yeah, snacks right? and and small stuff. Don Quixote is affordable. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not like a high-end affordable. department store. It's no, not no, a department no. store. No, it's, it's, no. It's very affordable. Yeah. Very, and very And I think affordable. some Don Quixote, they actually do a, a duty-free. Yes. Right? Yeah, I think in preparation for the Olympics, when uh, we went before COVID, mm. um, we noticed every store had the duty-free, duty-free. symbol. Right? Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. And I think Japan has continued with that. Yeah, now, yeah. Right? Yeah. Definitely. So you buy whatever you need to buy mm-hmm. at the, um, at a store that has duty free and i think mm-hmm. you i think i claimed it back at the airport yeah yes right you yep. give them the receipts and they give mm-hmm. you the money back mm-hmm. yep so speaking of affordable shops also um the 100 and shops daiso like daiso mm-hmm. and and the other one called seria seria yeah. so they're pretty much dollar stores yeah 100 yen is equivalent to an a dollar dollar yeah and obviously it's not everything is 100 yen mm-hmm. it's like a dollar lama here yeah yeah so yeah dollar tree dollar rama but you think of western dollar stores i mean i visit them all the time right mm. if mm. i need to buy something mm. i'll check the dollar store first mm-hmm. right um but you're aware that the quality of exactly. the goods is not that good no like definitely like a box right, right? A dollar yeah. right but in japan the quality is actually good right even at dollar stores mm-hmm. food items there mm-hmm. just every product yeah yeah Daiso. and then uh these days i see a lot of made in japan product too mm-hmm. so like obviously made in japan product i think it's more decent and like it's definitely better quality than made in China things, right? Mm-hmm. Most of the time you think of dollar store, you think, oh, everything is made in China, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can see, you find more made in Japan things yeah. now. Yeah. So it, also like, because made in Japan, it's, it looks good for your friends. Like when you... The packaging is always nicer, mm-hmm. right? The quality is better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember moving there. Um, I needed to furnish my apartment. Mm-hmm. Cleaning supplies, mm-hmm. like small tables whatever mm-hmm. shelves mm-hmm. Daiso. And you and Daiso. bought everything yeah. at daiso yeah. yeah and daiso has come to north america too in europe i think it is yeah yeah there's yeah. sometimes they change name or like mm-hmm. i guess like distributor or somebody change but yeah you you get a lot of daiso stuff yeah and like asian dollar store yeah. so if you need to buy omiyage mm-hmm. recommend dollar stores don mm-hmm. quixote Mm-hmm. hundred and shops actually mm-hmm. and um again spend some time to browse mm-hmm. around daiso mm-hmm. you'll find you'll be su- i remember being really surprised about, like this is only a, a dollar like mm-hmm. it's good quality yeah 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 yeah. right yeah that's why it's it's fun to to shop like you you can choose so many different s- like style or like things and mm-hmm. just- honestly anything you can think of Mm-hmm. you can find it there yeah 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 anything yeah. um so uh anything else to add about uh omiyage culture mm, i think i think we pretty much covered everything yeah. yeah if you guys again if you guys have any more questions or you want us to get into more detail yeah about any of our topics let us know let us on know our, leave us a comment yeah on our instagram instagram twitter mm-hmm. you can yeah. email us email us yeah so um that brings us to our uh the two new segments that we recently added to our podcast Mm -hmm. again we're always trying to improve trying to find more uh interesting stuff interesting entertainment Mm -hmm. um entertaining Mm -hmm. segments for you guys yep so um we started this segment last podcast Mm -hmm. uh kore ka sore this or that Uh, it's a segment where we take turns every podcast we take turns asking each other yeah um 
three pairs of things mm -hmm. and we just talk about talk it talk about it yeah and choose this or that yeah and today's my turn mm -hmm. okay so kore ka sore are you ready yeah <laughs> okay uh so first one tokyo or osaka mm, nice one Dochi. tokyo or osaka so the the two biggest cities in mm -hmm. in um sure japan everybody know. right yeah um I lived in Himeji, mm -hmm. um, so Which that's is, in uh, southwest, southwest, kind of? yeah, southwest yeah. part of Japan in the mm -hmm. main island, mm -hmm. uh, Kansai area. Mm -hmm. The biggest city of the Kansai area is Osaka, mm -hmm. so I definitely will pick Osaka. Osaka. What would you say are the main differences of Tokyo and Osaka, though? Uh, Osaka is like ma many times bigger than Osaka. Sorry, Tokyo. Tokyo, is, yeah, is no. way bigger than Osaka. No, I think population-wise, it's even. That I don't know. Okay, we're gonna quickly Google yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say that Tokyo um, is way bigger. So uh, well, population mean... of Tokyo, almost fourteen million. Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Population of Osaka is. Two points. Uh, that's old. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's almost the same. I don't know. But culture different for sure. Culture is different. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's way smaller. It's, which one, um, Osaka? Yeah, three million. Okay. Um, correct us. You guys can check and correct us. Yeah, yeah. But like, oh, obviously, no. when you go Tokyo and Osaka, Sorry, that's Osaka, Osaka city. Okay, Osaka Shi, she, not yeah. uh, Osaka Fu. Yeah, Osaka Fu would be 19 million. Also, oh, more than Tokyo? Maybe? Uh, I would say, like, okay. almost even. Almost even. See, I'm not sure if they're dividing. Okay, on Wikipedia right now, Osaka, 2.8 million, Tokyo, uh -huh. 14 million. Okay. Big population difference, way bigger. But um, I think just looking at the cities, hmm. Osaka is a bit grimier. Hmm. It's not as clean. No. Um, people in Kansai are known to be more like brash. Yeah. Like more, more casual. More westernized in a way. Okay. Okay. I mean, like how they speak, like okay. they're more friendly when okay. they talk to everyone. Not as formal. No, as formal. Not as Japanese, Japanese. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that why the most famous comedians in Japan come from? Kansai region? I think so. Right. Yeah. Because how they speak, mm -hmm. the, how to say, the, the, uh, the dialect. Yeah. Dialect okay. is yeah, the Kansai band. More un like unique sound. And funnier. Yeah. Okay. And they can, like, my girlfriend is from Kansai. Mm -hmm. And when I talk with her, I laugh a lot because it's just, and f from Kansai people, Mm -hmm. They're obsessed about like uh, comedy, mm -hmm. so they're obsessed to make laugh someone else. Okay, get yeah. people laugh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Osaka definitely Osaka oh. more nostalgic. But if you were to travel in Japan, um, maybe you would spend more time in Tokyo just because it's bigger and there's more stuff. And there's more stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, it's it's hard to spend just one day even Osaka, even Tokyo, because yeah. it's too big. No, it's too big. Yeah. Maybe like a week and four mm. days, a mm. week in mm. Tokyo, maybe mm. three or four days in Osaka. Mm. Okay. Okay. Anyway, next one, uh, PlayStation or Nintendo? Um, growing up, I had a Nintendo mm -hmm. and a PlayStation. Both? Uh, well. When I was a younger kid, I had a Nintendo, mm. like the original. Mm. And then later I had a PS1. Mm. Not a really big gamer, neither are you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but I would say uh, Nintendo is more so Japanese because yeah. of Mario. Yeah, Super um, Mario. Yeah. And I want to say Nintendo is more like um, uh, user-friendly to everyone. I feel like their game so. systems it's, are... It's more easier yes. to start, right? Yes, it's more yeah. simple. Yeah. Um, play, people who play PlayStation and Xbox are like hardcore It's a little gamers. bit more otaku. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, Nintendo. Okay, cool. All right, so the one. 
Japanese rice or jasmine rice? Ooh, that's tough. I love rice. Uh, same. I love rice. Yeah. I need rice to live. Yeah. We're so Asian. Yeah. Um, okay. If I, if you're asking me if I had to choose one for the rest of my life, uh, only one, uh, um, I would have to say Japanese rice. Really? But you're going to say Jasmine. Uh, I, pers- I prefer the mouthfeel mm-hmm. and the flavor. Of- Jasmine's rice is more floral. Yeah. Yeah. But I love the mouthfeel, the texture of Japanese mm-hmm. rice. Uh, and jasmine has more like a uh, flavor, like a fragrance. Aroma. Aroma, yeah. yeah. More aroma, yeah. more fragrant. Yeah. Um, but definitely they both have their place. Like, so for example, my house, I have both jasmine both. rice yeah. and Japanese rice. Yeah. If I'm cooking something uh, more Korean inspired, more Japanese inspired, mm-hmm. I will have to eat it with Japanese mm-hmm. rice. If uh, I'm cooking something more Chinese, more mm-hmm. Thai, mm-hmm. I'll always use jasmine rice. Mm. But so if I'm having Japanese curry with jasmine, jasmine rice, yeah, it's, it's, no, no, no. It just tastes wrong. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh, om rice. Mm-hmm. You have it with jasmine rice. No, no, no. It's no, just no, weird, no, no. right? Yeah, yeah. A Thai curry with Japanese rice. Yeah. So weird. Yeah, yeah. Maybe non-rice lovers wouldn't understand that. That's a good. Korei kasore, actually, but mm. uh, how about you? Uh, Japanese rice. For sure. Yeah, because like if I don't want to cook anything, I just cook rice in a rice cooker and maybe have some like pickle on the side. Mm-hmm. That's enough for me. Yeah. But like I cannot do with jasmine rice. That's true. That's you true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I always think rice, if I have rice, it's okay. Mm-hmm. But that means... Japanese rice. I mean, mm-hmm. more ja- Japanese Korean rice, mm-hmm. not like jasmine or even uh, basmati. Yes. Or so let's quickly, really quickly, go through the differences of Japanese mm. rice, mm. cow rose, no, mm-hmm. and uh, jasmine rice. Mm-hmm. So jasmine rice, the grain size mm-hmm. is a like little longer, thinner, thinner Japanese with, rice with the flavor. Jazz, shorter, Japanese, shorter, plumper. Yeah. Uh, Jap- a little bit Japanese, more uh, chewy. Uh, yes, uh, Japanese rice is a little bit more chewy. Yeah. And it's a little bit more glutinous. Mm-hmm. Like um, mm-hmm. if you use chopsticks, you can pick up, pick up. a yeah. whole bunch yeah. of Japanese rice. It's stickier. Mm. It's jasmine, jasmine rice. It's hard. You, it falls apart more. Yeah. yeah. Which also shows how you eat it, right? Chinese mm-hmm. people eat jasmine rice. And how they eat rice is they bring the bowl to their mouth, mouth and, then and just use the chopsticks to it. scoop it in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, suck it into their mm. mouth. Mm. The Japanese rice is you leave the bowl um, on no, the table we, or we, you hold it, we, we but ho- hold you don't bring it, it no, no, to no, your no. mouth and scoop no. it in. Yeah. You, you can actually use chopsticks to pick to, up yeah. like a whole chunk of yeah. rice. Yeah. So those are the main differences. Color, about the same. Color, about the same. Yeah. But if you cook jasmine rice, you can definitely smell it in your house. Exactly. Right? Yeah. The, but Japanese rice also has flavor. Yeah. But more uh, sensitive in a way. More subtle. More subtle. Like but, with anything Japanese. Yeah. But like, again, my girlfriend loves sh- her uh, granddad, mm-hmm. grandfather. He used to own a rice field. Okay. So she says she always get like fresh rice uh-huh. at that season. Okay. And then, she always remember the the, the, smell. the smell of like fresh uh, cooking rice. Interesting. Yeah. She even said like she want to get the perfume for that. Oh, especially because it's probably nostalgic for her, exactly. right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Those are good um, kore kasore. Mm-hmm. So next. Next um, segment. Next segment is our street level Japanese, Japanese. segment. Yeah. <laughs> Um, street level Japanese segment um, is uh, we want to introduce you to um, uh, the subtleties of Japanese language, um, but more of the informal, mm-hmm. more of the slang, mm-hmm. more of the colloquialisms. Mm-hmm. Um, and we want to bring this um, to you guys because um, learning about the street level Japanese, you can tr- not trick people, but People will assume that you're more fluent 
mm-hmm. in the language or more are, comfortable right? to more, talk more comfortable. with you exactly because like they assume you understand more yes yes yeah. um so it's uh things part of the japanese language that you might not necessarily find in a regular textbook or a, a mm-hmm. formal language learning mm-hmm. setting mm-hmm. and today's um thing Eto, is ano, ano, mm-hmm. ato. Ato. so i'm sure if you guys watch anime or any japanese shows mm-hmm. you'll hear it all the time mm-hmm. and uh so what's ato ano uh this is actually more eto eto okay eto. Eto. so it's like a well like when you th- uh when you're thinking uh-huh then then you say like eto well or i know it's like like same and, thing and um yeah exactly yeah so anytime yeah. you can say um uh well mm-hmm. anytime you're thinking then you say eto i know well, yeah like my, one of my uh friends in here canada mm-hmm. he used to live in japan for two years mm-hmm. and then he's already back mm-hmm. long time ago and then i saw him uh like last year at some point and he wanted to speak japanese right mm-hmm. so he speak english mm-hmm. but all the time when he started thinking then he always say eto 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 uh-huh. so he loves it yes he yes. wanted to use it um so i think that also means like it also shows the fluency if mm-hmm. you have in that language right um to when you learn uh other languages when you speak other languages uh there's one thing to just speak it but another thing to like have your brain switch yeah yeah to that language right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and a lot of people when they speak many languages they're also their personality changes yeah yeah right? so yeah. knowing japanese is a more of a polite language mm-hmm. if you're fluent in japanese your personality might become more polite more gentle mm-hmm. right yeah. but so if um you're thinking in japanese you definitely are thinking in your head yeah. eto ano yeah. right and i think eto ano is th- easy to uh say inside your head like eto like you don't even say that word like uh, you're just eto. thinking right yeah so then when you speaking to japanese people and then naturally it's gonna show up like mm-hmm. eto and then they feel like oh you good so have to ask because again japanese is very formal and informal mm-hmm. is it informal to use eto ano it's very informal so in a business setting never no never so eto, e- but an- it might just ano, come naturally maybe, right no ano yes okay ano could be but eto never really eto also sounds like more childish okay so uh-huh. like kids use a lot yes yes i remember like, that yeah you, like yeah. you say that right yeah like uh teaching english japan to you'll kids. have it's to kids little yeah. kids like two years old three year olds mm-hmm. and it's so cute when they say etone, etone. Yeah, they're exactly. just thinking they're just thinking they just keep saying yeah. keep trying saying, to keep say saying something yeah, yeah yeah exactly so yeah. it's like um um uh, mm-hmm. uh. Mm-hmm. but it comes so naturally that in a business setting you can just shut it off yeah yeah of course because it's japanese or because so, it's japanese you just say, yes eto desu ne. so it polites it exactly okay like you say eto and then eto eto desu ne. Uh-huh. then you catch yourself yeah you catch yourself okay yeah so not really formal but mm-hmm. it's used all the time yeah so the listeners from now on when you're thinking something trying to say eto in in inside your head and, and maybe one day he's just saying that especially eto. um if you're speaking to a japanese person like, yeah that's like one thing i picked up um living there friends that are that spoke japanese mm-hmm. you can tell they're fluent because mm-hmm. they go eto yeah. ano yeah. for yeah. me i'm just saying um ah uh, still yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. cuz so. it's too cute for you <laughs> <laughs> no I, i didn't switch it on my brain right uh... like i'm not fluent enough to switch in mm-hmm. my brain okay okay um but yeah so uh that was our street level japanese segment yes i hope you enjoyed it thank you uh also, thank you also omiyage st- story today mm-hmm. yeah um so again uh we would appreciate it if you guys um 
gave us five stars mm -hmm. on uh, Spotify mm -hmm. and Apple or wherever you find your podcasts. Mm -hmm. Leave comments. Any yep. type of interaction is appreciated. Yep. We thank you for your continued support. Thank you so much. Arigato. Arigato. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Matane. Matane.